On your modded Wii, you can actually skip the Wii menu completely and go straight into USB Loader GX where all your games are. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to auto boot USB Loader GX. And yes, this is possible on the Wii U's virtual Wii as well. You'll just have one slightly different step. To do this, we'll need a few things done already. First, you need the actual USB Loader GX app set up and you'll also need the USB Loader GX forwarder channel installed to your Wii menu. And speaking of Wii menu, it does need to be on version 4.3 for this to work. So if for whatever reason you're not, there's a link in the description for the hacks guide on how to update. But I think most of you are. Along with that, you need preloader installed. Most of you watching should already have those from following my full Wii modding guides. So if you do already, you can skip ahead to the timestamp on the screen to get straight to the auto booting part. If you don't have preloader or the forwarder channel, let's quickly set those up now. And if you're new to Wii modding, the forwarder channel only works if you have the app set up. So if you don't even have USB Loader GX set up at all, there will be a video in the description to get you started there. I'll have all links in the description for your convenience. The first one will take you here where you can grab the forwarder channel WAD. Just click download and that will begin very quick. And if you're doing this on your Wii U for your virtual Wii, you'll need to get the designated virtual Wii USB Loader GX WAD. And I have the official preloader usage guide here for auto booting. You can also follow that, that's linked in the description, but you can find the VWii WAD right here, as well as the normal Wii USB Loader GX WAD. Next one is YAM Mod Me Edition. This is the WAD manager we need to use to install the channel. Just go to the zip file here and press download file. All good, exit air. Next up is preloader installer. Same thing, scroll down to where it says the zip file and download. The next one is optional, but it is an app that lets you load straight into preloader. Otherwise, we have to use our reset button on our actual console. But if you want this app, just download this zip file as well. But once you have all of those, minimize. So now open up your downloads as well as the USB or SD that you have in your modded Wii. We'll start off with the WAD file. If you don't have a WAD folder already, go ahead and create that and then place the WAD inside. Click yes if Windows prompts you. Perfect, you can delete that. Go back to the root of your SD card, open up YAM mod me and just drag the apps folder to the root of your SD card. I already have it, so I'll just replace. You can exit out of there and delete the zip. And we'll do the same for preloader and load preloader. Drag the apps file to the root. Delete the zip. Now load preloader apps to the root of your SD card. And now we can head over to the Wii to get those set up. All right, let's head over into the homebrew channel. And we'll get preloader installed first. So go into preloader installer and load it up. Just wait a few seconds, and once you see this, hit the plus button on your Wiimote and it will install. It's very fast, just press A to go back to the homebrew channel. And now Preloader is installed. Preloader is a very highly recommended brick protection tool. Check out the description for more of an in-depth guide for Preloader and BootMe. But now that we have that, go into YAM Mod Me Edition and let's get the Forwarder channel installed to our Wii menu. And this app even lets you double check if you have Preloader. As you can see, mine is installed. But just select the source device that you have your WAD folder on. Mine's SD. And you should see it here. Press A, A again to install. And we're done, press A. Just press the home button and it'll take us back to the homebrew channel. We'll go back to the system menu and you should now have the forwarder channel. Let's head back to the computer and get with the auto booting part. Now that everybody's on the same page, the last link in the description will be for this GBA temp page here. And we're looking at a post from the actual USB Loader GX creator himself, Blackbox. And we're gonna grab the Unio channel booter for preloader. This will be the same file download if you're on Wii or Wii U. Unio is the title ID of our forwarder channel for USB Loader GX, if you were unaware. So click this, it'll take you here, wait a few seconds and it will automatically download. And once you have that, you can exit out, open up your downloads, as well as your SD or USB you use to mod your Wii. Open up the zip file, and you should see this unioboot.dol. We're going to grab that and drag it onto the root of your SD. And that's the only file we need, so we can go back and delete the zip file now. 
Now we can head to the Wii. We're gonna load into Preloader, so when you turn your Wii on, you can hold the reset button to load in, like on the right, or you can use the Load Preloader app, like on the left. And if you're on your Wii U, you can use your Boot to Preloader forwarder on your Wii menu. And once you're in Preloader, go down to where it says Load slash Install File. It will give us all of our options, but we're gonna go down to that unioboot.dol. Press A to install the file. It shouldn't take long at all. All right, that's installed. Press B, and now we need to go down to settings, and we're gonna change the auto boot. So right now it's set to system menu. Just use your D-pad and go to installed file. You can even set it to the homebrew channel if you want, but please do not set it to boot me iOS as that'll get your Wii stuck in an infinite loop and we don't want that. And there's tons of little settings you can do with preloader, including, fair warning, it's gonna be bright. You can turn it white. I this It's just, it feels so weird, but lots of cool settings in preloader that you can explore. But what we want to do is change the auto boot setting to installed file. Make sure you go all the way down to save settings and press A. Exit there. And now our Wii should be set to auto boot into USB Loader GX. And for the future, if you ever want your Wii to boot into the system menu instead again, just go back into settings and change it back to system menu and you'll be good to go. But I'm leaving it on auto boot to show you. So I'm going to turn my Wii off and turn it back on. And you should see it loading directly into USB Loader GX. Voila. And if you want to see the channels that you have on your Wii menu that aren't games, you can go to select game sources, select NAND, press OK. And now <laughs> you got the homebrew channel disc. Kind of cool. And that also includes WiiWare titles that you have on your menu as well. And just so I don't confuse you, you can still access your Wii menu if you press the home button and then hit Wii menu, it'll take you there. So I just wanted to make that clear. But there you go guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to hit that like button if it did, and let me know what other guides you want me to make. I'll see you on the next one. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>